Hello everybody, it's Sarah and it's that time of the month again where we'll talk about what I'll be reading next month. So, very complicated way of saying today I'm gonna share my September TBR and my September reading plans with you. Which, I have quite a few books on my September TBR because there's quite a few releases that I'm excited for, there's quite a few buddy reads that I have planned and then there's some miscellaneous books that I thought I'd throw on here as well that maybe aren't as set in stone as some of the other picks, plans that I have for my September reading but I still wanted to share them with you. So yeah, and with all of that said, let's get into it. First, let's as always start with rereads. My first reread I have is Cushiel's Chosen by Jacqueline Carey. This is the second book in the Cushiel Start. Wow, forgot the series name for a second. In the Cushiel Start or Phaedrus trilogy. And I finished my reread of the first book, which was Cushiel Start in August, so this month. So I'm gonna continue on with the second book in September hopefully. This series follows Phaedra who basically is a prostitute spy, a courtesan spy and because of that she gets entangled in the politics of her country, she uh, has to go through some shit, she has to save her country multiple times and yeah it's just a very fun and unique adult high fantasy series that I'm excited to continue on with. Second reread I have is the Black Jewels trilogy, all three books. I'm just gonna reread all three books in September. And this is of course my favorite series of all time. In August I suddenly, for reasons, felt very compelled to reread the entirety of Anne Bishop's The Others series. And so in September I'm gonna continue on with... oops, I have my laptop on my lap, fittingly, and I almost threw it on the floor. Uh, but anyway, where was I? Yeah, uh, I decided I wanna reread the entirety of Anne Bishop's books before the year is over and I'm gonna continue on with The Black Jewels because I'm gonna have to get to this next because I'm gonna get a lovely visit around the middle of September from a friend from Munich and uh, yeah, I'm gonna send some books back with her to Munich. The Black Jewels probably is gonna be one of those books. So I'm gonna have to reread this first. So yeah, but I'm very excited and I don't doubt I'll be able to reread it in the 10 days that I have to reread this because I have reread this, how often can I say reread? But I have read this a lot, a lot already. So I know which scenes I love, I know which scenes I don't love as much. I know this entire story by heart already anyway. And so I can just skim read the parts that I don't enjoy overly much. Also, I quite often don't read the ending of the third book because it depresses me. So that we once again don't go through all TBR chars at once, let's continue on with my physical TBR char. Look how few pieces of paper are left in here. I am so excited. There's like six books left in here in total. But yeah, this is my physical TBR chart. It holds all the books that I bought before 2021 that are on my physical TBR. And my goal was for this year to get to a TBR zero, meaning not own any books that are unread and that I haven't bought within 2021. And so every month I pull four books from this TBR chart and then I read two to three of those books. And yeah, we'll get to a TBR zero by the end of 2021, which excites me. But yeah, the first pick, the first pick, the first pick for this month is A History of the Kings of Britain. Let me get in in a second. So the first book is The History of the Kings of Britain by Geoffrey of Monmouth, which is from the 12th century and it's kind of a fictionalized history of the kings of Britain, like of the legendary kings of Britain. And this, I believe, is the first written down account that we have, like within this history of the kings of Britain, we find the first written down account of King Arthur, which was why I originally bought it. So yeah, we'll get to it in September, hopefully. Second choice. What is the second choice going to be? 
if I can get this open at all. Selected Tales by Edgar Allan Poe. I will just say right away I won't read this in September because I have planned to reread this, reread this. I have planned to read this in October because obviously Edgar Allan Poe, a lot of creepy tales, goth literature, so October would be the right month to read it. So because of that I'm not even gonna get it right now. Uh, but just so you know, <laughs> I have planned to read this in October. Then my third pull is going to be Marlowe's Plays. So I have a collection of plays from Christopher Marlowe, which let me get it. This is the book I'm talking about. It's Christopher Marlowe, Dr. Faustus and other plays. And in here we can find which are the plays that are in here. Uh, we have Tamburlaine the Great Part 1, Tamburlaine the Great Part 2, Dr. Faustus A text, Dr. Faustus B text, The True of Malta, which sounds like a play that's probably very offensive to read from a modern perspective, and Edward the Second. So yeah, I might not read all of them this month because, as I said, I only have six books left to read to get to a TBR zero. I have four months left to read them so maybe I'll just read two plays this month or three plays this month and then the other three next month. We'll see. And the final poll for today is going to be Der Steppenwolf by Hermann Hesse. Once again, let me get it. So here is The Steppenwolf by Hermann Hesse, which actually I only acquired this year when I helped my mom clean out her bookshelves because she had two copies of this. I have never read a Hermann Hesse book and as someone who loves literature and who is from Austria, so within the German-speaking countries, uh, it's probably a tragedy that I've never read a Hermann Hesse. So yeah, we'll see. I don't know what The Steppenwolf is about, to be honest. Continuing on, let's go through some books that I don't have here physically yet. The first of those is a book that I ordered at the very beginning of August. It still hasn't arrived and it makes me very sad because I'm so excited to finally get to this, so I will get to it as soon as it's on my doorstep, which hopefully will be in September, and that is Star Eater by Kirsten Hall. I don't know a lot about this. I know it's adult high fantasy. I know there's giant cats, I know there's cannibal priestesses, and I know that there's zombies. Like, and that's all I need to know to want to read this, to be honest. Like, also the cover is gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous. So that's the first of the books. So that's the first of the books that I don't have here yet. Then I have two body reads. I also have more this month later on, but I'll get to that later because I do have physical copies of those books. But I have two body reads that haven't arrived yet. The first of those is the body read for my book club for September. My book club is of Queens, Witches and Valkyries, where I read one elder high fantasy book, Elf, blah, adult high fantasy book written by a woman or genderqueer person per month. And if you're interested in joining, September is actually our one year anniversary. All the links, the Discord, the Twitter, everything is written, linked, whatever. I don't know, I have a hard time talking today, but all the links are down below. You get what I mean. And in September, if you're interested in joining, we're reading The Midnight Bargain by C.L. Polk. And this is, I don't know that much about it. I think there's quite, a prominent romance subplot, although I don't think it counts as fantasy romance. And then the only thing I know about it is we follow a woman who wants to learn magic, but she can't learn magic because she's a woman and also within her society she needs to marry, but she doesn't want to marry. And so there's a lot of plot lines connected to that. But yeah, that I think was a more confusing than helpful summary of this book. Then the second body read I have that isn't here yet is A Master of Gin by P. J. Lee Clark. And I also don't know that much about this. I believe it's historical fantasy. I might be very wrong on this, but I believe it's set at the beginning of the 20th century and I definitely do know that it is set in Cairo. There also is a short story that was published before this book came out so I will read that as well and I've heard a lot of 
like hype around the author more so than this specific book because it's quite a recent release it was only released I think a week ago or something like that so yeah but I cannot wait to get to it and then I also have two new releases for September that I'm very excited about and that will hopefully arrive in time for me to actually read them in September the first of those is The Bronze Beasts by Roshani Chokshi, which is the third book in the Gilded Wolves trilogy, which is a YA historical urban fantasy. The first book is set, I believe, at the end of the 19th century and in Paris. The second book then was set in Russia and the third book, judging by the cover, is going to be set in Venice. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna make the wild assumption there. Mostly though, this is an ensemble story. We also in each book have a heist plotline. The first one starts with the crew that we follow kind of helping their leader get his family legacy back. And so yeah, I very much enjoyed the first two books. I'm excited to finish the series and I can't wait to see how it ends. And then the second new release I have, I only recently found out that it already being published in September and that is The Splinter King by Mike Brooks which is the second book in the God Emperor series? I forgot what the series was called but the first book was only published at the beginning of the year and the first book was The Black Coast and I finished this last week I think. I absolutely loved it so 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 much so right away I went to Goodreads, I went to take a look when the second book comes out and I am so lucky that I have to barely wait a month for the second book to come out because it's already published in September and or it's being published in September and I am so excited for this. This is uh, hard to explain. It's an adult high fantasy. There's a lot of queer world building in this adult high fantasy which I absolutely loved. I mean I'm gonna rave about it again in my wrap up. I'm probably gonna do a whole gush review on it as well so not gonna talk about how great the first book was that much now but basically we follow multiple plot lines and the main plot line is set in this keep village thing and they're always scared of the raiders who come over the sea to just kind of rob them and raid them obviously now one day the raiders arrive again however they don't come as enemies but they come to ask if they're able to settle there and so, you know, conflict is on the horizon a little bit. But yeah, highly recommend. So excited that I don't have to wait for the second book. Since we're already at sequels that are gonna be released within September, let's take a look at which series I pick for my series TBR jar. This TBR jar holds all the unfinished series on my shelves that I still intend to finish. And yeah, I pick one each month as with my physical TBR jar and then I continue on in the next book in that series. So let's take a look. So the series I pulled was the Books of Pelena series by Alison Crogan. I only have to read the last book in this quartet. I read the third book also this year, I think in June possibly. So yeah, I'm excited to finish this series Although I'll probably, gonna say now, I'm probably gonna unhaul the series afterwards because I don't really see myself rereading this at any point in the future. Some more sequels I wanna read in September. First, I wanna read Servant of the Empire by Raymond E. Feist and Jenny Wirtz. This is the second book in the Empire trilogy. And in this trilogy, we follow a young woman who was supposed to become a priestess. However, when her father and brother died, she has to take over as head of her family. And she has to make sure that, you know, her family doesn't go under and isn't destroyed. And I read the first book two months ago, I think. I not, no, not in July. I think I read it in June as well. I really enjoyed it so I right away got a used copy of the second book and so we'll see. This is kind of, you know, a tentative plan for September. It kind of depends on how much time I spend reading the other books and so on. But I cannot wait to continue on with this series. And then a final book that I have and a recent release is Wings of Shadow by Nikki Pau Preto. This is the third book in the Crown of Feathers trilogy. This is a YA high fantasy that is kind of inspired by... I don't know if it's the 
Aztec or Inca, but it's like South American cultures inspired generally. At least that's the vibes I personally get. And we follow our main character, Veronica, who wants to become a Phoenix Rider. And I absolutely love this cover. I recently got the third book and I cannot wait to continue on with this. Although this is quite a massive book for a YA, to be honest, because it's over 600 pages. It's quite chunky, but yeah, very excited for this as well. Last few books that I have. First, I have Wizard of the Crow by, what's he called? Ngui Wa Tiongo? I butchered this name so much, probably. This is the next book that I have for my TBR for my international fantasy video. This is by a Kenyan author. And yeah, it arrived and it shocked me how chunky this is. I did not expect this to be this chunky. So we'll see if I'll get around to it within September. Also, I don't really know what this is about exactly. And then lastly, I have three German fantasy books, which are not German, because two of the authors are Austrian. But you know, written in German fantasy books, adult high fantasy books that I am very excited about and I'm gonna be buddy reading them with my friend who's coming from Munich in September. One of them I'm probably gonna start earlier. I talked about this one in my last TBR already and this is Sanguen Demones by Anna Zabini and this is an urban fantasy set in Vienna. So I'm gonna start this, we're gonna buddy read it before she comes over and then I'm gonna take her to all the places that this book is set in because it's set in Vienna as I said and I'll take you with us as well uh, with the camera so very excited for this one we're buddy reading all of them by the way then the second one that I also already talked about in my August TBR was Die Götter müssen sterben by Nora Bensko this is not exactly adult high fantasy, it's an adult retelling, it's a retelling not of the Iliad but you know of the war of Troy and we follow some Amazons. This however is not by a Viennese author, this is by a German Moroccan author if I remember correctly or a German author with Moroccan roots. Yeah, also this is queer as well. Sangue and Demones as well. All three of the books are queer, which excites me so much. I don't know why, but I don't expect German books to be queer, which, you know, there's as many queer people in Austria and Germany as there are everywhere else, but for some reason, I, I don't know, for some reason they don't exist to me. By the way, the Götter müssen sterben translates, the title translates to The Gods Must Die. And then the last book I have is Knochenblumen Welten nicht by Eleanor Badilak. And this title translates to Bone Flowers Don't Die. I think, kind of. Also don't exactly know what this is about. However, this is set in a place, in a city, that is inspired adult high fantasy as well and this is set in a place that is inspired by I believe late 19th century Vienna, 1900s Vienna which also excites me so much, oh my god <laughs> um, sadly I don't think you can get any translations in any language for any of the books because yeah German books, also all of them are recent releases the oldest of them, I think, is Sangue and Demones, which came out about a year ago. But both Die Götter müssen sterben as well as Knochenblumen welten nicht are quite recent releases, like pre-summer releases. So yeah, that was it for all the books on my September TBR. The TBR is about as long as this video is long, so I'm just gonna make the outro short. Leave all your comments as always. In the comments down below obviously if you enjoyed this video maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and also maybe subscribing all the links to my social media as well as as i said all the links to my book club are in the description box down below so go and check those out and i hope i'll see you very soon bye